four, three, two, one. Hi guys, it's Wanga Lee with Two Chic Chicks here to bring you a video today. Our video today is going to be on Y'all, yep, your girl got her hair braided. First time ever with braids. Y'all see that? We get in a little close. I'm coming to y'all in your grill with them. Yep, it's me, girls. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. And if this is your first time stopping by, Thank you for joining me, and I hope you become a subscriber. And guess what? Go ahead. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button as you watch this video. You know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified of any new videos I upload. And for my own subbies, thank you so much, and welcome again. So, today's video is going to be on... You guessed it, yeah. Your girl got braids. Your girl got braids. Your girl got braids. Oh, your girl got braids. Oh, can't move that too much, girl. That look, that's kind of heavy. <laughs> My head keep falling these bun, this bun. <laughs> but yeah, today we're gonna talk about my first time ever getting braids. Yes, you heard it. My very first time getting braids. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my experience of how it was getting my braids. I'm going to talk about a couple of things I didn't like. And if I'll do it again. Hey, let's go ahead and get started with this video, y'all. Okay. Well, as you see, I did get braids. Um, I was looking for a protective style for the summer, which um, we is one, too hot, two, uh, let's see, crochet, mm, too hot, three, a wig, mm, too hot, hmm. what a protective style is it? Braids. I made the decision to get braids, something I've never done before. Like I said, I haven't worn weave great. I haven't done anything like that. I always just had my natural hair, just wore my hair. And what happened was I just pulled the trigger. I'm happy I did pull the trigger. I really like it. And I'm going to just tell you my experience of doing this. Uh, my job that I have is a relaxed job or laid back. Um, I can, I'm a casual, we, we are casually dressed at my job. In the summertime, we're a little, I could be a little bit more freer to do things that I, I wouldn't necessarily do doing, you know, the regular, um, during the year. But during the summer, I don't see a lot of, um, I guess, you know, high class, you know, I won't say high class, I don't even know why I said that. More or less, you know, prominent people of influence or anything in my job. So, and then I'm out for like a few weeks, so in the summer. So I thought, good time to get them is now that I would wear them. I mean, I'm not saying you don't wear braids to a job, but this is me saying when I would wear braids. Um, since um, we don't you know, have too many people to come through. Well, um, I went, got my braids. Um, I called, made my appointment. Um, at that time, I spoke to girl Lena. Hey, Lena, if you're watching. And she's, her and another female were the ones who braided my hair. It took five hours to, um, for them to braid my hair, which I didn't think was long. I thought it would be a, a little longer than that, but it was five hours. Five hours was five hours enough. You know what I mean? It was like, whoa. But it wasn't bad. I've heard horror stories of people um, getting their hair braided for like hours, like, like a whole eight hour shift or more, you know? So that was another deterrent why I wouldn't have never done it. But, um, I mean, so 
with that in mind, I, um, she told me it wouldn't be no more than five hours. Well, when I got there, well, first of all, I had to buy the hair. She told me I needed five bundles. I got um, the color 60 and the name of the braid and hair I got was called Express. Now I got a different color in my in the back because I mimic my hair. I'm basically white everywhere except for a little bit in the back. So I'm gonna turn around so you'll be able to see the back. So I mimic my natural hair in the back and on in the front, my hair color. And so when um, to prepare to go to her. To get my hair done, what I did was um, I washed my hair, I put conditioner on it, and I kind of left the conditioner. I didn't put a lot of conditioner in my hair, I left the conditioner. You know, I have relaxed hair, so I waited till some of my new growth grew in before I made my appointment to go get my hair braided. Um, I just thought it would braid, stay on better if I had a little new growth to the root of my scalp, I mean to the root of my hair. And which she didn't tell me to do any of this. I just thought it would just make it easier. And um, I let my hair air dry and I just kind of pulled it back a little bit and when it got my hair done, I went to go get it braided. Well, sat down, I let her know, remind her again <laughs> that this is, I'm a newbie to this. I've never had any, any hair added to my hair. Weave, crocheted, wig, anything. I've had my hair cornrow braided one time, and that was years way before YouTube, you, before I started YouTube, years before I started YouTube. And um, I had it for a, a cruise, long enough for me to go to the cruise and come back, and that was all, it, it was all over when I made it back here. I didn't have any more <laughs> braids. Once I made it back here, I took them straight out. So it was just strictly for the cruise. And um, after I got there, I did remind her I was a newbie once again I didn't want my hair braided tightly and I didn't want to be you know I want a bunch of pulling and tugging on my hair which none of that none of that I was so elated because sometimes they pull it you know I've seen people hair so it looks so tight like it's pulled tight and like they trying to pull up all your edges and stuff you know and she didn't do any of that so I am grateful to her for doing that I am I'm so grateful that um, she spared me that um, what else did we do oh um, once she did it I must say I was apprehensive I started getting nervous the night before thinking oh do I really want to do this do I really want to do it because looking at the hair in the pack it was so white I was like oh my god I'm just gonna look like <laughs> Medusa but look like Stoneworm. You know what I mean? A mix between Medusa and Stoneworm. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really gonna really look real white. And I was like, heck, my hair is white. But then I thought, I don't know about in braids. But guess what? I have gotten more compliments on these braids. I was like, oh my goodness, shoot, I maybe I should did this stuff sooner. So um, we, um, I, um, I left her very pleased and happy. They did a great job. They got me in. They got me out. And um, there's only three. Now, there's something I wish didn't take place. And if I, I guess I wish I would have been a little bit more prepared for this part of what else they would add to my hair. She, um, as she was braiding, she put some type of oil on there. Well, it looks, I don't know if it was like a petroleum oil or something. You know, I didn't even go ahead and ask because I didn't have anything else to go in the place of it. But if I'd have known, I would have brought my own oil for her to use on my hair. Um, she sprayed my hair with oil sheen, which I would, I don't use spray oil sheen on my hair because it's more, it has quite a bit of alcohol in it which would dry the scalp, make my scalp itchy and stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh, she done that. I didn't say anything, it's done. It's, you know, water under the bridge at this point. And um, after she braided my hair, she did dip my, my hair in hot water. And she basically dipped from like, maybe my chin down or right up under my ear down. So when I got home, I went on ahead and got in the shower and I wet the rest of my hair and, you know, as warm as I could take it water. And that was, 
because my hair wasn't easy to manipulate at the top part because I wanted to pin my hair up. So um, with it being, um, when I did that, it did relax the top part of my braids and stuff. Now the only time my head hurt was when I was trying to manipulate my braids to put them up. And I was trying to do that before I had put the water on it. And that's when I thought, let me go in the shower and see if I can just wet them and make that help me to be able to move the braids even easier. And which it did work. It did make it easier for me to move my braids around and get them up in a, um, up to the bun. Now, how I got them into the bun, how I got it into the bun was I ended up putting a big rubber band on it. And I mean a big one. I had to go to the beauty supply um, store to um, purchase a bigger rubber band. And it sits right on your head. You know, you put it on your hair. And then you just pull your hair around and then you start tucking. So I put the bun up. So, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on that, which I think. Get back up in your grill, what you see. I think I did a pretty good job with that. And I really do like it. And like I said, I got tons of compliments, so I should have did this a while back, you know. But I really do like it. And I really like that I followed my natural hair color line and stuff. Because I'm darker in the back and lighter everywhere else. So that's pretty much what I think so far. Now, do I like them? Yes, I love the braids. I love having them. Will I be doing this again? Hmm. I would think I would do it again. I won't do it again soon. I won't promise you that. But I eventually, somewhere down the line, once again, will do it again. Now, I'm going to take them down for you so you can see how long they are. So let's begin taking them down. And we can continue to chat as I start trying to take them down. Now I'm gonna tell you, I got pins everywhere. <laughs> and I even bought some new hair pins because I bought some big ones and I'm gonna show you what kind I bought. Hold on. I bought some big ones that are like this. And I'm gonna show you the difference because I have some small ones in here too. That's the difference to the hairpins. They're the same type of style hairpins, but that's the difference to them. We're just gonna do, I guess, a little series on me having braids, how I'ma style them, how I'ma, uh, how my maintenance is gonna go. And like I said, I'm new to this, so I'ma have to do a couple more YouTube videos <laughs> to see how other people do it. Um, Cause I, my hair is used to being washed um, every week. So I gotta figure how I'm gonna wash the braid, wash my scalp. I don't wanna necessarily always have to get the whole braids totally wet because it took a minute before my hair to, to uh, dry, all this hair to dry. And I'll show you a style on how, uh, do a video on how I got my bun to, to work. I mean, how I got it to work, how I put my bun up. But this is not my bun, y'all. This is my crown. <laughs> this is my crown. Now, the third thing I don't care for, as I was waiting for it to come down, I don't care for it that I have straight hair. At the, instead of braided all the way to the ends, I thought it'd be braided all the way to the end. But... I can maneuver with this. And so, this is, here's the braids still up in. And they are heavy. Lord, I went to bed every time I wanted to turn. <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to be able to manage going to bed. But, whoo! This is some stuff. I got a stronger neck, y'all. Yeah. Woo, because this thing worked a girl neck. But this is it up. See, I don't care for the straight hair on here. But I was looking at other people braids as I was out, and I seen people braids that were like this. I thought she was just being a little lazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I guess they just have that. And I say, but a lot. They have 
Sunday. So I do like them, you know. And to Living Chicks, I saw her with her hair braided up. She had cornrows in her um, on Instagram. And I um, messaged her and asked her what hair color she was using and stuff. And where did she get it? But this is me all the way down. And I'm going to bring all the braids towards the front so you can see them. So, this is me. With the braids all the way down. So, they come about... I want to can you see? Where am I going to get? Right here, almost fell. <laughs> here they are, right here. So that's like mid part of my back. That's where they fall at, mid part of my back. I am enjoying having braids. I didn't think I would like it as much, but I do. I really do like the braids. And like I said, nah, it won't be anything I do often, but. Is what it is. Well, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Um, stick with me for my journey here with these braids for this summer. I don't know how long I'm going to keep them. Um, I just, I guess until I get tired of them, when I'm ready for them to go, they'll go. <laughs> but for right now, um, we're just going to enjoy it. I'll come to you with some braid styles that I've figure out I can do myself, um, how I'm maintaining, I do a video on how I'm maintaining the braids, and I guess from there, that'll be it. Well, I would like to thank you guys again for joining me. Look, I got hair to throw, y'all. Shoot, y'all better watch out now. Hold on. <laughs> I've been going to enjoy this while I can. But, um, I'm a, um, I'm a go. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And don't forget to follow me over on um, Instagram as Two Chic Chicks. I'll be there definitely showing you some style, fashion with these braids. So thank you again for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.